Yes, one of us a believer. We have the favor of God upon us to walk with them in the place they are going, in the schools they are going. For the teaching practice, we pray that the film may carry them. When the cast is going out there, the grace is going to look at them. The Lord is going to walk with them. That things are meant to stop us. But the favor of us upon their life will prevail, will prevail, will prevail in their life, in their life. The Lord is going to carry them at the point until we come back. That the Lord is going to dance with at the point. Every moment, my Lord, we pray. We commit for us. We commit to that. Everything that as we are going out of there. The Lord my for us, every point Lord, I put anything for us. We are going to have our shots. You will keep us lost. My Lord you shall walk with us. Because Lord, there is none like you. When you go with us, you go. When you go with the third year, said not. In that teaching practice, you go. In that judgment, my father. The paracas, you go. As they are going outside there. Lord, may you go with them. Lord, may you go with them. As they are going for the holiday, Master, we pray that, Lord, you go with us. Lord, may you move with us. Lord, may you go with us. We pray, my Father, and we pray, oh God, as we pray for your mass, may your grace carry us, Lord, until we come back to know. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't leave us alone, my Father. But one thing we pray for, we may walk, my Father, and save the other until we come back, Lord, by you keeping us that every point, Master, every moment, oh God. still continuing with the exam we pray that as they continue with the exam the favor of the Lord continue to walking with them until they finish the spirits the counter attacks that may come sickness might arose but some, some may feel of giving up but we pray that the grace of God may carry them until they finish just another those who are still doing the exam before the Lord that the Lord will walk with them come with them Any punish that may come dropping them from doing the exam. We pray that those the, by the will of the Lord, they are going to finish the exam safely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we stand at them before you, my Father. That Lord King of Kings, as we are continuing the exam, may you pray with us, oh God. May you just walk with us, Jesus. too good oh god and you are great oh lord father you are great and lifted up above every other god come on continue to wash the name of jesus continue to worship the name of the lord because he is mighty continue to worship the name of jesus because he is great indeed he has revealed himself to be good to us he has revealed himself to be who he is says that I am, that in this, even in this semester, in this spiritual year, we've been able to see the hand of the Lord. We have been able to see God in our lives, and we have a reason to tell him thank you. We have a reason to glorify the name of the Lord. We have a reason to worship the name of Jesus this morning. I know each and every one of us, you got a reason to tell the Lord, indeed you are mighty, oh God. You are so good, King of all the glory. Father, you are worthy of all the worship, my Father. Of all the glory you deserve, it, King of glory. Even as the cherubims and the seraphims worship the name of Jesus and tell him you are worthy. That is who he is because he deserves all the glory. So help me worship the name of Jesus this morning. Worship the name of the Lord this morning. Tell the Lord you are mighty and you are good, oh God. I can ask you to just close your eyes and reflect on the goodness of the Lord. Reflect on how God has been good to you. Reflect on how God has been so faithful to you. Reflect on how the Lord has been merciful unto you. The Lord has been so gracious that some things we never deserved it. Some things we are not worthy of it, but the Lord has helped us. The Lord has brought us this far. And Father, you are good, oh God. Father, we love you. Lord, we love you. We worship.
worship you this morning. We love your name, O King of all the glory. The Bible says that bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits of how God has been good to me. I will forever bless the name of Jesus because he is so good and he is so worthy. And the Lord is ever faithful. Some of, some of us are for the years that have been here for the four years and the Lord has been good to them. Some for five years and the Lord has been still good to us. The Lord has ever been faithful and he will forever remain because that is who he is. He says that he never changes. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He is the mighty God that never fails any man. He says that those who are called according to his, his purpose, he serves them and everything else works together for the good of their lives. And those who God has chosen, the Lord, that those who God has called to himself, he shall always fulfill their desires. And the Lord has been good to us this same is the Lord has forever been faithful, so you have a reason to tell God, thank you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, oh God. I love you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good, oh God. You are so good, Jesus. You are so good, my Lord.
to me. Just tell the Lord you are good. Tell the Lord you are good. Father, thank you for being faithful, oh God. Thank you for being merciful, Jesus. Your God of wonders. Your God of miracles. Your God who is great. You are a God that is beyond our understanding. Ah, that no man can comprehend your faithfulness, your greatness, your power. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are so good. Father, you deserve it. You reign, oh God, you reign. You reign, oh God. Adonai, you are good. Adonai, you reign yourself. Adonai, you are mighty. And you are good, Lord. You are good, Jesus.
this moment just go before the Lord. Thank Him for what He has done for us. Father Lord, this day we praise You. This day we honor you, our God and our Savior. Thank you, Jehovah Lord, for your mercies. Have not failed us, our God and our Savior. You've been so much great to us, our Lord. You've led us by your mercies, by your grace, our Father. You've guided us, our Father. Jehovah Lord, you've shown us your power, your greatness, Father. You have not given us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, a spirit of love and self-control, our God. Father Lord, our God and our Savior, your word says, my God, that righteousness and justice, oh God, Father, goes before you, Father, and that love and faithfulness, my God, dwells on your throne, Father. Our God, we trust in you, our Father. Our God of righteousness, our God of wonders, our God of majestic holiness. This morning, Father, our desire, God, is righteousness. Our desire, Father, is holiness. Our desire, Lord, is your move, is your presence. In each and every position, Father, and lie us, lead us, our God. Father, Lord, our God, because you are worthy in each and every situation of our life. The word is my God, that we first of all seek your kingdom and your righteousness and all the other you are going to add to us. All the times we seek your kingdom, all the times we seek your righteousness, my God. You know who does to shame our Father. We praise your name, we glorify your name, we honor you, Adonai each and every point for your being faithful. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name, we worship. So praise God. Praise God again. Yeah. Tunaenda kwambia our God. We thank Him. Tunamsifu. Yeah. We thank Him for this far. It is not for granted. It has really taken His hand for us to be in here today. So, let's clap our hands. To a kusifu, to a kusifu, to a kusifu mungu mwenye nguvu, Hauna mwanzo wala mwisho Mungu wetu sifiwe Toa kusifu let's go Toa kusifu Toa kusifu Mungu mwenye nguvu Hauna mwanzo wala mwisho Mungu wetu sifi Esifani kwako Thank you. 
and our frictions, through challenges of life, in, ho- uh, in times of loss of hope, in times of desperation, He has been there for us. It is us to thank Him for what He has done for us. So, let's pray. Father Lord, we worship You. We honor You, Adonai, this morning. Father, by Your grace and by Your mercies, by your unmerited favor, God. Jehovah Lord, you've walked with us. Jehovah Lord, you who reigns in all this prayer and majesty, is you whom we honor this morning. For great is thy power, majestic in power, and mighty in power in each and every aspect of our lives. All our thanks, God, is unto you. Thank you for this, Father. We do not take it for granted, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, our God and our Savior. In Jesus' name, we have praised.
God Church. Praise God once more. Before you comes creative ministry, ready to bring you divine creativity, which goes by our identity in Christ. More from it, sit back, relax, and enjoy as our one and only Ojode Adrian comes to minister unto you. Welcome. So today, as the theme is saying, identity in Christ, I want to tell you a story about how this Christ is revealed in the Bible. And you get that one advantage of this identity is that uh, you don't have to attain the age of 18 years and above to have this identity, but it is an identity not only here, in this life, but in the life to come. So in Genesis, Jesus Christ is the seed of the woman. In Exodus, is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, is our high priest. And in Numbers, is the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the prophet like Moses. And in Joshua, he is the captain of our salvation. In Judges, Jesus Christ is our judge and the lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. First and second Samuel is our trusted prophet. Kings and Chronicles is the reigning king. In Ezra, he is the rebuilder of the broken out walls of human life. In Nehemiah, he is the restorer of what is broken down. In Esther, he is our Mordecai. In Job, he is the ever living redeemer. In Psalms, he is our shepherd. In Proverbs, and Ecclesiastes is our wisdom. In Songs of Solomon is the loving bridegroom. In Isaiah is the Prince of Peace, and Jeremiah is our righteous branch. In Lamentation is our weeping prophet. In Ezekiel is the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, is the fourth man in the life's fairy furnace. In Hosea, is the faithful husband, forever married to the backslider. In Joel, is a baptizer with the Holy Ghost and fire. In Amos, is our burden bearer. And in Obadiah, is mighty to save. In Jonah, is the great foreign missionary. In Mika is the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum is, God, is the avenger of God's elect. In Habakkuk is God's evangelist cry, revive thy works in the midst of the years. In Zephaniah is our savior. In Haggai is the restorer of God's lost heritage. In Zechariah, he is found and opened in the house of David for sin and imp impurity. In Malachi, he is the son of righteousness rising with healing in his wings. In Matthew, he is the king of the Jews. In Mark, he is a servant. In Luke is the son of man, feeling what you feel. In John is the son of God and God himself. In Acts is the savior of the world. In Romans, Jesus Christ is the righteousness of God. In 1 Corinthians is the rock. 
in 2 Corinthians is the triumphant one, giving us victory. In Galatians is your liberty, he sets you free. In Ephesians is the head of the church, in Philippians is your victory. In Colossians is your completeness. In First and Second Thessalonians is your hope. In First Timothy is your faith. In Second Timothy is your stability. In Philemon is your benefactor. In Titus is truth. In Hebrews he is your perfection. In James is the power behind your faith. In First Peter is your example. In Second Peter he is your purity. In First John he is your life. In Second John he is your pattern, and in Third John he is your motivation. And in Jude is the foundation of your faith and in revelation is the coming king is the keep of creation the architect of the universe is all he was he is and will always be he remains unmoved unchanged untouched undefeated and never undone the world can't understand him Armies can't defeat him. Schools can't explain him. And we can't hold him. Herod couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. Hitler can't sense him. And Oprah couldn't even talk about him. He is my life. He is my light, my love, my pain, my joy, my everything, my life, and the rules my life. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Um, Jasmine Chepkori, Serone a third year, the School of Education, taking home science and biology. Yeah, I bless the Lord this morning. I'm born again, I thank God. Uh, in the Christian Union, I serve as the missions coordinator. Yes, Mount Elgon for Jesus. Mount Elgon for Jesus. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm here to remind us of our mission giving. We shall be having mission giving next semester. Yeah, and I really invite us all to, as we are going home, yeah, as we are going home, let's prepare for the same. Yeah, we shall be having a performance. Yeah, if you need a performer, please come see me or you'll pick them today. Um, also, on the same note, having come here, um, the annual mission application is still open for all of us. Please, let's apply for the same. Uh, we all are called, as we have been told, Revelation, Jesus is our king, our coming king. Praise the Lord. Yeah, and before he comes, he wants to see us reaching out to all nations. He wants to, to see all people worshipping him. So let's apply for the same and be involved also in the same. And we shall be a blessing. Uh, also, let me take this time to remind us of Commission 2024. We are going to have Commission 2024 come this year, December from 27th to 1st January. Let's really register for the same. We were told by STEM last week 
let's register and get ready for the same. That 5,400 shillings is not much. Yeah, just collect from your friends and yeah, and your friends, and the Lord will bless us all. Otherwise, thank you, and God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. How are we this morning? Are you good? Can you wave unto me like this? Oh, some people seems like they are not in. Praise Jesus. Can you turn to your neighbor? Uh, no, no. Wait. Just wait. Chill. Um, I wanted to say that can you greet your neighbor seated at your back? Oh my, oh my, that's, that's amazing. How are they doing? I believe they are doing fine. And we thank the Lord. It's not, it's not by our might to be seen alive, walking. You know, it takes the grace of God and we have to give glory unto the Lord. Yeah. Um, and I'm so much grateful for you coming today the service, you are such a blessing. And God, I know God will uplift you to the places of your desire. Yeah. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome us all to today's service. Yeah, feel at the right place, feel at the feet of Jesus Christ. And uh, is there any visitor in our midst? If there is any visitor, you can rise and wave unto us. Anyone? Wow, 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 wow. Someone else. Yeah, you can wave to us. Wow. Wow, wow, what are we going to tell him? Yeah, here is where love is more than words, as you can attest. It's, it's, it's more than words. You, you, from, the, from now and even after the service, you will, I, I assure you, will, you will experience the love of University of Eldoret Christian Union. Yeah, I'm called Karina Amos uh, from the School of Education, taking English and Literature. And in the union, I serve as the secretary, and I thank the Lord. Yeah, with me here are some announcements. That's from the missions docket. Let's prepare for the annual mission that will be early January 2025. Don't hesitate to apply also to be a host missioner. You can grab a copy of application form from the mission committee if any case you are interested. Uh, mission giving will be next semester and therefore we are reminded to be aware of the same. Uh, Kairos course will also be there next semester. The fee payment is 1200 shillings only. Let's also prepare for the same. Let's mark our calendars on the commission 2024 which will take place at Kabarak University from 27th December 2024 to 1st January 2025. The fee payment is as follows. Students, 5,400 shillings. Associates, 10,600. And for the fresh graduate, 5,700 shillings only. Yeah, it's commission 2024. slogan, imagine. I'll repeat. It's Commission 2024. 
Yeah, so as the Father has sent me, so sent I you. Let's, be pre uh, let's prepare for the commission 2024. As you are told, you can begin raising money from now. That's a uh, hundred paying every month. I'm sure you will get enough money. If you get 100, you pay uh, even every week, every, uh, like if you feel like beginning with 10 bob, 20 bob, and you will attend the commission 2024. I can tell you it's really amazing uh, uh, conference to attend for you will learn more majorly from the, uh, from the book of Isaiah. You will get to know more in commission 2024. Yeah, Noret family invite us to their mission that will be at Kamarich. Kamarich, I hope I am pronouncing it well. Yeah, uh, at Kamarich in Nandi County from 4th to 12th of May. Fair to and fro is 700 shillings only. Yeah, next week we'll be having, uh, it's from tomorrow, we'll be having uh, our um, service. I know it's not, it doesn't appear in the program, but on Friday we'll be having a movie night. For those who will be here, uh, maybe majorly, maybe first years, who will be there, mm, second years, and third years, even for the years when you are Maliza exam, maybe third, second, you can come and experience that. Yeah, we'll be having uh, a movie night on Friday, and on Sunday we'll be having service. Let you come and a test of the same. Yeah, um, I, I'm reminding you of a tour. We'll be having a tour giving today, immediately after the sermon. So stay input for you to give to the Lord. Yeah, let's pray for the offering. Father, we are grateful for this hour. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here, Lord. We are your children, my Father, as and I've, as you have said, oh God, let your children come to me. My Father, we are here, Lord, with thanksgiving from our hearts. And we want to give unto you, my Father. May you bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, trusting and believing. Yeah, to those with hard copy, our ushers will be walking around to help us collect. And to them with soft copy, you can go to M-Pesa menu, choose pay bill option, click on Lipana M-Pesa. Our business number is 247247. Account number is 2585-10-sadaka-type. Please specify if it is sadaka, write sadaka. And if it is type, write type. Thank you, Publicity, for projecting that to us. Yeah, and um, I still want to remind you to uphold integrity in our exam room. Be the light to those people who are there. Let them read you and glorify the name of the Lord. Praise Jesus. Yeah, and um, I want to uh, wish all those who will be traveling maybe this week, uh, those who will be traveling back home or those who will be traveling to their places of their attachment, uh, teaching practices, safe journey. May the mercies of God go with you. Wh whichever uh, thing that you are going to use while traveling, may he be the driver. Praise Jesus. Yeah, I know you will arrive safely and we will glorify the name of the Lord. Yeah, and um, thank you so much and have a blessed service. I welcome choir. Praise the Lord. Help me sing this song as I welcome for your family.
church. I'm grateful this morning. So this is a choir family, and we are here to minister unto you through songs. So the first song is uh, the, the way you have heard. It's telling us that uh, because God is a miracle worker and uh, the miracles, the blessings, the healing, the provision shall always come upon us. And so the second ministration song, uh, it majorly it, it, it speaks about the message from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verses 28, which says that come all to me who are uh, weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Yeah, so the song is telling us that God is good. He is ready to carry our burdens. The, the hunger, the persecution, the sicknesses, everything that you feel that you are overburdened with, just take it all to Jesus and he's good. He will carry it to us and we will find rest in his name. So be blessed as we minister unto you. Thank you.
Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Yeah, thank you for attending today's service. Amen. Yeah, my name is Moses Mumo, uh, the chair of the Christian Union, and I thank God. Yeah, I'm sorry for coming late. Yeah, yesterday we had a focus GM at Nairobi, and we traveled at night, and we arrived very late. And um, I'm so happy and glad for you guys for at attending our services faithfully this semester and our meetings, prayer meetings, discipleship classes. May God bless you. And I would wish to wish you well as you you go to your places. If you're going home for long holiday, if you're going for attachment, may God be with you. Uh, once again, I would wish to present our team. Uh, as an organization, we should uh, review our constitution after some period of time. And we are using the 2018 constitution amendment. So we would wish to do some changes because of changes that are for card and in, um, we have included another docket and another committee in the CU, which is the advocacy committee. So we need to do some changes in our constitution. And through this, we have uh, come up with a team that will work with uh, through that, that you review it and I uh, will receive some amendments which you would wish to be done in the constitution uh, from you. So feel free to, to, to give your amendments. Go through the constitution. I know it is there. You have seen it. And where you feel like we need to adjust some things, feel free to, to reach to that team. So I would wish to, represent, uh, to present them. We have the chair of the team who will be Dina Wakoli. So you can come here as we commission you for that work. <laughs> there will be our secretary who is uh, Macrin Obada. <laughs> we have exec representative Kevin Kipkorir. Uh, yeah, we have members representative Terry Grace, Michelle. And we have our publicity representative who will keep the link that you will be sharing your amendments and we'll uh, keep them well with uh, Eric Soita, Enoch Soita, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is the team that will help us to, to do the, the changes or else the amendments in the constitution. I'm not seeing Enoch Soita. Okay, it's well if it's not around. So I would wish to welcome our Mr. Josiah Hani to come and pray for the team and say hi to us. Yeah, so welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, let us pray for this team. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you for uh, this committee, that even as they work in uh, this committee, that, Father, you are going to give them wisdom, that, Father, you are going to give them sensitivity of the Holy Spirit, that they will be able to understand the direction to which you want to take this Christian union to. We pray for unity. We pray for members who are going to contribute ideas, items that are going to enrich this constitution that Father, even as they work and consolidate all this, that Father, you will be together with them. May you bless them and may you be with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm glad to be here this Sunday. Uh, here is the last Sunday for most of uh, most of the fourth years. In fact, all of them. Um, I just want to, and also it's a Sunday that most of you will be going for attachment. Some will be going for teaching practice. My prayer is that even as you go you will remember the sermon of today. Praise the Lord. Identity in 
Christ, that you may represent Christ wherever you will be. Those who are looking for jobs, don't be desperate. Don't sell your birthright so as to secure a job. Just believe in the Lord and he will do it for you. Praise the Lord. Najwanenda TP. TP kuna kwanga. In high schools we have what we call, uh, I don't know, is it uh, a tachi rush or hapa kuna kwanga na gold rush? When first years come. So when TPs go to schools, there's always some confusion in the staff room. I pray that you will not be a source of confusion. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That you will maintain your integrity. Sawa, sawa. Your yes should be yes and your no should be no. Mungu wabariki. I came with my two children. Maybe they will just stand. So the girl is called Shimni. Shimni, S H S H M N E H. Shimni, she's in form two. <laughs> then the boy is called Israel. Israel is in uh, grade six. God bless you. In the journey of seeking out identity, many have lost a clear focus of the pursuit. There are many identities, but there exists one that surpasses them all identity in Christ. Question, is there something like identity in Christ? If it exists, how? In the journey of seeking out identity, many have lost a clear focus of the pursuit. There are many identities, but there exists one that surpasses them all. Identity in Christ. Question, is there something like identity in Christ? If it exists, how do we find it? Our speaker today graduated from Moore University, Chepkoilel Campus in 2000. And six ministry. He served as a prayer secretary, Chepkoilel Campus Christian Union, from 2005 to 2006. He is currently a senior pastor at CEC Springs of Revival Church, Kakamega. Family. He is married to Jacqueline Ogalo, and together they are blessed with two children, Joy Blessed and Peter James Blessings. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the Lord, put your hands together as we invite Thomas Ogalo Mikula. Again, Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. Uh, I'm so much privileged today to to see Daktari sitting here. Daktari is a, a father to many of us. At the time we came to this place, is the one who welcomed us. I think he's the one who nominated me to see you leadership. <laughs> and I hope I didn't disappoint for the years. He, he nominated me to see you leadership in my first semester in first year because we were just first year so we were the first exec in uh, in our, our first semester and he, he led us through he's a man who prayed with us and guided us 
uh, I want to really thank God for give, being given opportunity to come back again to this place. I, I don't take it for granted. It is a real pleasure and it is a real privilege. Uh, I think I had a lot of reasons not to, to make it, but I said for the love of this place, it was only good to come. I, as uh, from, the, from the introduction, I'm married. My wife sent greetings. Uh, our girl, we are blessed with a girl. This is in form two. My girl is in form one. <laughs> and my boy is in grade six, the same way to Israel. And um, so today I was, uh, before I forget, there's a young man, I think he saw, he told me to send him his greetings. He's called Godfrey Chesa, so that I am I'm faithful. I think he was here some, some few years ago. This place had been a good place for us. And I bless the Lord. Uh, one of the pastors I work with just graduated from here. And is doing very well. He's running a church very, very powerfully and very wonderfully. Today we are talking about uh, your identity in Christ, your identity in Christ. And uh, I want to say that uh, I, okay. <laughs> I've not started and I've already started receiving this one. <laughs> Your identity in Christ is uh, an understanding of who you are in Christ. Who you are in Christ. It is also identifying with the finished work of Christ on the cross and finding the meaning of your life in Christ. Finding the meaning of your life in Christ. I would also define it as drawing the pattern of your life from Christ. Drawing the pattern of your life from Christ. And uh, that will touch the various aspects of life. One is asking yourself, what was the attitude of Christ? Uh, I, I hope those who are uh, projecting, you can project, I'll, you'll be projecting for me if you don't mind. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. Just trying to culture your attitude to the attitude that Christ himself had. The good thing is that I have my hard copy, so when you delay, I read it from my hard copy. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Jesus Christ who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and uh, given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Of those in heaven and those on earth, 
and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. The attitude that was in Christ, the attitude of humility, that uh, one of the patterns as a, a, a people that identify with Christ is that we must have the same attitude. The Bible challenges that have this attitude that which was also in Christ. That even though he was God, but he humbled himself. The next pattern is his meekness, the meekness of Christ. The meekness of Christ. That is in, uh, in John chapter 15, verse 3. John 15, verse 3. You got it there? Okay. I think I'm faster than the projector. It says, John, it says, oh, 15, verse 13, not 3. It says, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. That uh, you can't imagine that Jesus laying down his life for, for people who never deserved. That was an attitude. Just the aspect of laying down your life for other people. Laying down your life for other people. The meekness that Jesus had. I like the next, uh, in terms of drawing the pattern, his loyalty to God. The loyalty to God. I don't know. Uh, Dr. has said something very important, that from here people are going for different directions. Will you still be loyal to God? The you who has sung very well on this altar, are you the same you in the night? Those days when we were here, we used to do some things which were very crazy. Because uh, I remember some days we used to walk in the night praying in tongues around. And you could find a man standing with a lady and you don't care. You ask him straight, is this your wife? <laughs> I still do it. I think it is the only thing God has not changed in my life. That uh, because I live near the university, I also passed a church near Masinde Muliro University. So I, I still I'm still a bit crazy in seeing young men who are uh, who have given their lives to destruction. But uh, the question is, are you the same one whom we have seen here? Because today, last week I was doing a, a, a run a run. Uh, youth conferences for our church ministries. I was here in uh, a place called Nangili, and we had collected youth from from Nyanza, uh, from from Western. Then after that, this week I was doing uh, the, the same conference in Nyanza, so we collected all the youth from that place. And uh, some of the f very touching confessions came through that conference. That there's a lot of things going on, even in church today. It's so touching, Dr. Harry, that there's a lot of young men, even some of them are looking at me with their two eyes like this, who are so much held in pornography. They are here, they are not far, because that was a church, and the young men came and said, Pastor, I'm being eaten up by pornography. I need help. The one of the uh, very, what touched me, because that one I sensed, I saw it in Nyanza, I saw it in Western. In, in Western, I saw a boy who came and told us, told me, that, Pastor, I want to tell you something that my parents don't know, my pastor does not know. While I was in class seven, I was initiated into gay practice. And uh, I've been in, through to high school, 
it has been my life. My boyfriend is, my girlfriend is girlfriend or boyfriend. My boyfriend is now in KU. And even as you were preaching, he was calling me. You can laugh. You can laugh because you think it is funny. But no, there could, be, there could be somebody here suffering the same. Oh, I looked at that. Then when I went the other side again, I saw a girl who wrote a very long paper. She said, I, 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 I'm from a broken family and uh, uh, part of my life was in uh, 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 some children's home in Coast and uh, the lady who runs the, the, the children's home initiated me into lesbianism. Now I'm tired. I want a change. Those things look to be very far and yet they are so close. I had confessions of boys who came and told me Pastor, whatever you have said, all of them touches me because I'm in drugs and I'm in church. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to assume the, the you we have seen here, is it the same you outside there? Is it the same you when you step out of Chepkwelel? Is it the same you when you go for the teaching practice? Is it the same you when you go for the attachment? Is it the same you when you go to look for a job? Whereby you are told if you want a job, you must sleep with me. Professionally, I've worked, I've worked uh, as a banker for the last 16 years. I... But when God called me, I left last year. I left now to come fully and do what, what is my passion. This is now my passion. And uh, I've seen people very disparate. That when they want a job, they would never want to say, I'm born again. They want to take a middle ground so that they get the job. I don't know if it is you. So, the loyalty of Christ to God. Will you still be loyal to Christ in the absence of this multitude? Now, kulikuwa na mtu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Yusufu katika Biblia that is in Genesis. Siku moja baada ya kuuzwa na mandugu zake akafika akajikuta kwa nyumba ya mtu anaitwa Potifa. Na Yusuf alikuwa <laughs> It is only Dr. Josiah San who can be near where Joseph is. Some of us sisa tunasura bwana. And the wife of Joseph looked at, he, at him and he told him, man, come and sleep with me. There are a lot of things that were at stake. Sleeping with Potiphar's wife would guarantee Joseph a very good job in the, in the land. Because Potiphar was a, a commander. He was a high-ranking authority. Sleeping with Potiphar's wife would guarantee because women are very powerful. Women are very powerful. You are just laughing because you don't know. <laughs> At least me and Dr. Harry, we can tell you because we have, we have them in our houses. They are very powerful. I want to go to the house. You can imagine the woman Potiphar comes home after um, all the suckers and tells Potiphar, you brought this man to abuse me. And Potiphar does not even ask for evidence. He just speaks to Joseph and throws him into. That's the power of a woman. (laughs) 
I remember one of our, in, in, our, in, our, in our, our country, one of the powerful women who had to force the president to make a press statement. That, that's how powerful women are. So this woman tells Joseph, come and sleep with me. But Joseph tells her, no. And uh, the Bible says she repeatedly told Joseph this. But then one day when the woman sees all the servants are away, the woman now says, today is my day. It's only me and Joseph in this house. Young man, now that day she was, she was not talking from far. She ensured the distance was too close. And she grabbed the jacket of Joseph. Today you are sleeping with me. If it was the generation of today, they say, Pastor, Pastor, even you, you can just see Ali Nishika. <laughs> Pastor Ali Nishika. I can tell you, some of us, you are not just sinning because you don't have opportunity to do what? To sin. But if you are in the Joseph moment, because Potiphar's wife was not an ugly woman, she was also a beautiful woman. You say, I have all the reasons. Today, I was alinishika, alinifungia mulango. Moreover, there was nobody who has seen us. But Joseph said, I cannot do such a thing and sin against God. How many people would still say, whether I am in darkness, I would still stand for God. Whether I am thrown. By the grace of God, I, I, I like telling people this, that uh, one of the, of the places in, in my, my course of work, one day, God gave us some, an opportunity. I was just sitting in the office. Then I saw some email that you have been, uh, you have been rewarded with an, a, 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 an incentive travel. I thought it was an, uh, a scam. So I had to send it to our HR and ask them, is this the, a scam or what? So they told me, no, it's not a scam. So it was a very nice trip. Because... Uh, it was my first time to tra travel out, out, outside this country. And uh, so we go, and with my wife, and we were around over f almost 50 people in that, that cohort. And we were using one, a, a very good airline. So the moment you get inside there, the first thing they do, they serve people with wine. They, they say, this is the best and you are not there. Your pastor is not there. You have never tasted. And you are just hearing these things. And we still said, we were with a, among the team, we just myself and there's a couple from Malawi. We said, even in this place, we still identify with Christ. And I saw people who had never tried, they tried. And I said, okay. Am I born again because people are looking at me or because the people I know are around me? Friend who is sitting in this hall, are you born again because the CU chairman is watching you? Are you born again because the members of your Bible study are watching you? And I remember after we reached a point and they said, now in this place, we are going to we are going for what we call an Arab dinner. So everybody must put on as an Arab. <laughs> I looked at them in their eyes. I told them number one, I'm not an Arab. I'm a Christian. And we don't put on these things. But the other said, Ah, what is it about the clothes? It's just about dressing. We said no. We have a pattern. We must follow the pattern of Christ. We are not just buying anything. I don't know. If given opportunity, will you still be a, a, a Christian? 
Kuna wengine na wakristo kwa sababu wamepigwa na umaskini mpaka pesa itokeleze hivi. Naambiwe pesa ndio hii chukua. Kuna ndugu ndugu mwingine aliniambia siku moja kwamba pasta mimi nikipata tu nafasi. Hizi magari za electronic una zinabeba electronic ikipata nafasi ya kuijack moja na nianze biashara nitatubu baadaye. Okay. So the loyalty I'm talking about let me come back let me come back so joseph still says no the commitment to the father's will i like that the pattern of the life of jesus because identity means we must identify with the the behavior the life of christ are you committed to the will of god in your life are you committed to the will of jesus are you committed to the teachings of jesus the book of john chapter 8 it must be verse 31 john 8:31 it says if you continue in my teachings then you will be truly my disciples if you continue okay you are looking for it 831 If you hold to my teachings you are really my disciples Are we committed to the teachings of Christ Yesterday as I was we were, were coming we, were, we had some men's retreat uh, so I carried some men of God and one of the men of God started telling us his beliefs and it was so much bit about some tribes in Kenya and I was, I was laughing I was telling man of God you, you need to go and surrender this position of a pastor so that because now you are so bitter in your mind you believe there are tribes which don't deserve in this nation commitment to the teaching of Jesus Christ whereby I will see whether you are from which place I will see you as my brother it doesn't matter if today you are at that employment desk and there is this choice of there is only one chance to recruit there is this person from your tribe there's this other person from the other tribe. Would you still consider this other person on, based on merit? Those are the questions we ask. Because kuna mari kuna fika wa kristo wana sao kwamba wani wa kristo. If today, my brother, you have one chance to employ, na kuna mtu kutuwa kukakabila yako, Will you still have the courage to say this one based on merit I'm giving to this other one? This morning's gig, you some of you will be you'll be bosses and you are going to disappoint Jesus in the marketplace. You are going to crucify to take Jesus back to the cross in the look at me well. When you know when you talk about my bosses. And you are going to be a, a very big disappointment to Jesus Christ in the marketplace. No wonder people don't see the, the, the difference or the impact of the church. Because the church behaves like the world. Would my sister Yani <laughs> Will you still be a Christian? The teachings of Jesus Christ, the will of the Father. 
his way of life. So on the, on the, the will of the Father, we can read John chapter 6, verse 37, just very fast. Let me just read it. John chapter 6, verse 37, in the same, uh, uh, all that the Father gives me, all that the Father gives me will come to me. And uh, John 6, 37, yes. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. For I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. I like, get the commitments of Jesus. He's saying, I've not come for anything of my own. The whole duty that I have here on earth is to please my father, to do what my father wants. Everything I'm living for is to please the Father. I don't know if today there is some, somebody here who is saying, everything I'm living for, I want to please God. My whole life, I just want to please God. I like 17 verse 4, John 17 verse 4. He says, uh, this is Jesus making a prayer for his disciples before he left. He said, I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given to me to do. I have finished the work. I have accomplished the mission. I have perfectly done your will. I have finished the work. Commitment to the will of God. And his way of life. That's the next one. What are some of the things we must identify? We must identify with the way of life of Jesus. I like the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 13. Acts chapter 4 verse 13. It says like this. I told you I'm faster than the, the projector. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. You cannot be with Jesus and fail to carry the aroma of Jesus. But you are, today, if I'm to work in a perfume manufacturing company, I would never buy perfume. What I would just do every day, I put a new coat, then I just go inside there. And <laughs> the perfume will just get its way to my coat. I go and hang it, I go and I change, I get, bring another coat. When you are in the presence of Jesus, the aroma of Jesus is supposed to come into your life. They just saw Peter. Peter never told them, hey, man, we have been with Jesus. Uh -uh. They just stood and began to explain themselves. And this man said, this man have been with Jesus. I don't know. You who is sitting here, even your roommate, does he even know you have been with Jesus? service. Wana bebanga simu. Wana toka tu kinjaro kwa room. Wasijue. Awataki yata room etajua meokoka. Kwa sababu. The, the kind of behavior in the room. True or false or none of the above. There is something, I mean, I've realized that there is something they like hiding. So that nobody, because nobody can guess whether you are from church or you are going to church. Let me leave it there. Okay. 
John, John uh, Acts, Acts chapter 11 verse 26 says like this. Acts 11, 26, uh, this is um, 11 verse 26, it says, uh-huh. uh, and when he had found him, he, uh, let me start from 20, 25, then Barnabas departed to Tarsus to seek Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that, it, it was that for a whole year, they assembled with the church and taught great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians at Antioch. The name Christians, it did not come from the disciples. People watched their manner of life. And people say, these men are like Christ. This men, their behavior their speech, their manner of love, these men look like me. I don't know if your roommate can confirm to us today that you behave and look like Christ because your roommate can sleep without food and you don't mind. Unakula mjali, unamwambia mimi siku kuleta university. Kuna vitu vidogo vidogo ambazo zinatusaidia kubiri Kristo. How we show the love of Christ. Kuna watu ambao si lazima wabirie bibiria. Yani jinsi unawapenda wataokoka. Kuna one of the ladies when we were back. One of the, one of the toughest thing I had on this, in this campus was to be the, at one point be the Bible Study leader for, for, for Josiah and Eve. <laughs> I, at one point, I was his Bible study leader. There is a room we visited. And there's a lady who was a Catholic who got born again. One day, she told me one thing. That I just nearly want to you gentlemen. I looked at your lives. Kuna muta ameokoka kwa sababu ya maisha yako. Ama kuna mgina wanasema kama hiyo ndio wokovu bas mimi nimeokoka. <laughs> if that is salvation then I am more saved. Hata mimi nimefika binguni. Kama hiyo ndio wokovu nimefika binguni. Sitaki wokovu mwingine. You know friends your life can either be preaching Christ or preaching against Christ. Wapendwa wakukopi kwa mutiani pia wameka hapa. Na wanasema wameokoka, hauja okoka. Kama unakopi kwa mutiani hauja okoka, leo tukimanizu kuja hapa ni kuambia wokovu. Na hiyo kitu ina kusumbua hapo nje. Wengine wamekazirika. <laughs> mimi sikujialika. Na mimi niko na kanisa na ubiri kila sande. <laughs> Sasa mzinambia muna ni Black Chris. Ndaburi kwa kanisa yangu. <laughs> Sia kuna university moja ni rienda. Wala nipata topic ni kaubiri. Bada kubiri ni kwa sema zasa mimi. Siwezi kumaliza bila kuitisha altar call ya wokovu. Na watu kama msini wakakuja wakaokoka, wakakazirika. Wakanambia sasa wewe ma, topic yako ulifanya vizuri lakini yo ya pili atu kuambia ufanye. Neka ambia to hell with you. How can I, me, I cannot preach without calling for salvation. Chairman, mimi ni kimaliza lazima nitaitisha wokovu. <laughs> Na mtafadhali Hapa mkini black list ndarudi tu Kwa mana hapa ni nyumbani <laughs> The way of life Does your life portray Jesus? 
Maisha yako yaonyesha Yesu kweli. Ama maisha yako yanafukuza watu kwa Yesu. The way you talk to people. Ndio kuna watu ambao kuongea tu, kuongea tu akiongea watu kumi wanapotea kwa ufalme wa mbingu. Na wanasemanga mimi ni mimi nasemanga tu. Mimi nasemanga tu. Ah ah. Hiyo kusema tu jiambie mwenyewe wacha kuambia kwa watu wa Mungu na ribu. Ati mimi nikikasirika nasema tu. Mimi ni mtu wa kusema ukweli. Hapana. You are hurting the people of God. Lazima useme na self control. Na lazima useme na upendo wa Yesu Kristo. You cannot just be saying mimi nasema tu unaumiza una watu mimi nasema tu please stop it. Kama hivyo ndio unasema kwa church yenu nyumbani yani useme kwa church ya nyumbani. You must have self control. Kuna kusema tu hata Yesu alisema na upendo. The way of life of Jesus is the life you are living today. Na mimi sisemi maisha ile ya CU. Ile private life yako. Ile private life yako. Unajua watu wako na kamba zote wanakuwa na maisha kama mbili ama tatu. Kuna life ya CU na kuna life ya exams ya kucheat kwa exam. Na tena kuna life ile ya watu wakienda outing hapa nje. Yeah, was what was you again outing when they come back sana mane wanajua kuna mnyana waona Is your life pattern the same Maisha yako Unapata ndugu amekaa kwa simu kana kwamba ni job ana apply Kumbe ni pornography na mkifanya mkono hivi naangalia huyu huyu ni uchi anaangalia na wako kwa ushirika wako kwa siyo wako sio wako mbali leo hii itabidi ukubali Yesu akutoe kwa hiyo maneno kabisa kabisa wacha nikwambie i've seen god helping people god can help you and don't never be ashamed of saying i'm tired never be ashamed of saying i'm tired It is only a person who is tired of his, of his situation that gets help. Uwezi kusaidika kama bado umeridhika. Uwezi kusaidika kama bado wewe umeridhika. Lazima ufike mahali useme mimi imetosha. Nataka kupeana maisha yangu kwa Yesu Kristo. Na sasa hii maneno ya identity kama uko hapa na hujaokoka hii maneno haikuruhusu. Kama uko hapa na hujaokoka hii maneno ni mbali sana na wewe. Ukitaka hii maneno ikuingie lazima kwanza ukopopokea Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi. Bas wakati wa kupokea Yesu ndio sasa tunaanza kuongea maneno ya identity. Tunaweza how can we talk about identity na sababu ndio ambao nje kwa giza. Ndio unaweza kuwa kwa ziuna uko kwa giza. Bas the way of life of Jesus. Number now the next thing is your value system What was the value system of Jesus Christ? Can your value system be aligned to the value systems of Jesus? Yani as you set up your values, you are considering Jesus at the center. Everything I do must give glory to Jesus. Everything I do must have its origin in Christ. Christ interest must be core in setting up your values the Christ the interest of Christ as you set up your values the interest of Christ must take the center the next one is your belief system is your belief system having its reference point from Christ ndio hapa bado tuko na watu ambao wako wanaamini wako imani yao iko ndani ya Kristo lakini bado wako na imani zingine kwa hiyo nje wetu sisi kama wasuba tunafanyanga hivi e, sisi kama wajaluo tunafanyanga e, sisi kama waluya tunafanyanga hivi e, 
sisi kama wajaluo mtu akikufa lazima tufanye ile kitu inaitwa teroburu <laughs> eh yeah? sasa hata ukihubiri ukihubiriwa unasema pasta hii ni ni culture yesu akukuja kuharibu culture your belief system must be fully aligned to the beliefs of Christ not even your tribe not even your tribe ah the legacy of Christ another thing we need to do is the legacy of Christ when you look at Christ there are two things which comes to my mind his love and his compassion for human beings when i look at christ when i think of christ there are only two things which come to my life to my mind his love and his compassion he was a compassionate lord that means i should try as much as i can to borrow from the legacy of jesus christ i must you must have passion for people you must have passion for people and you must be compassionate about human beings you must be compassionate about human beings one one thing which makes me very happy those days i was here i said thursdays was my day for door to door and i could storm hostels whether it was chana Now some of the people who got born again that time some of them are still born again up to today and i still do outreach because i don't i want as many people to come to this light the legacy of christ and finally his manner of love First John chapter 4 verse uh, from verse 7 says like this beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God he who does not love does not know God he who does not love does not know it does not it does not matter how, how much you shout at the sea that you know God if you don't love you don't know God When people see this in us they will say these people belong to Christ. When they see the behavior the lifestyle of Christ in us then they say these ones they belong to Jesus Christ. Personal identity seeks to uh, seeks, seeks to answer the question of who am I? who am who am i that means my purpose in life what is my purpose in life i want to say that there's nobody that god created as a mistake please listen to me those who are looking down look up that, that person who is on the phone i hope you are not on a pornographic site look up nobody was created useless on this earth somebody said in identity there are three things there is what your mother called you your mother and your father called you that's why today if i say enoch there's a man here who will stand up true or false or none of the above if i say enoch see there's a person called enoch here as mom If I say Israel this man will look at me the way he's looking at me because the mother and the father called him number two, there is what people call you and that second one has killed many people because some people call you a failure and you have because they have repeated it to you you have come to believe you are a, a failure today I want to tell you never believe the lies of people 
Don't allow people to define what you are. Allow the word of God to define what you are. And then finally, there is what you call yourself. The Bible says, after God had created, he brought all the animals to Adam. And whatsoever Adam called them, that they became. Whatever he called them, kama alizema ni ngombe ni ngombe. Hakuna kubadisha jina, hakuna kusema atimi ya wandu kuenda pili. I was called a cow, but me and Nataka Nikwe Buffalo. Akuna, whatever Adam called them, that became their name. Proverbs 18.21 says like this, the power of life and death is in your tongue. And those who love it, it's his fruits thereof. That means whatever you confess about yourself may, means a lot. Ukisema we mimi ni mjinga, we ni mjinga. Hata ukikuja hapa ni kuombe, Ni kemema pepo ya ujinga. Lakini we umesema we ni mjinga. Ayata toka. Kwa sababu we mwenye ulifanya nini? Ulikubali. Ukisema I'm a failure, you are a failure. Ukisema mpua. No wonder the Bible says, let the weak say I am. And let the poor say I am. The Bible is not just saying those words. Yani, uko pua, lakini your confession is the one change that will change the situation. Whatever you call yourself matters a lot. So, your purpose in life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord. Today I want to give you a good message that God has good thoughts for each one of us seated here. They are not thoughts to harm you. There are thoughts to bless you. There are thoughts to give you hope and to give you a future. Do you sometimes sit down and ask yourself, why did God create me? What is the reason for my existence? Am I fulfilling my God-given purpose? And I want to say, when purpose is not clear, misuse is inevitable. When your purpose is not clear, that's why you can even sing here, but you're not aligned to your purpose. It's very painful. It's good to say this. Part of my life in this campus, I saw a very wonderful CU girl who got married to another faith while we were here. Very beautiful girl. Sometimes we need to define our purpose. Now the answer is, you know, when, when your purpose is not clear, anybody sees you as like a girlfriend. Some of the, 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 the students I mentor in Kakamega. So one of them, one of them, after I'd preached in church, she came and told me, Pastor, hile kitu ulikuwa nasema, niambia tena. Ati ulisema, atufai kuoneka na hile dini ingine. Nikambua, kupwe, kupwe ukona mingine kama ui. Go and call that person now. Umambia, Pastor yangu wamesema, yu kitu imeisha. Naka mpigia, kamambia, Pastor yangu wamesema, yu kitu imeva nini. Your purpose must be so clear. You can't just be yoked. Hey, wadada mba wako hapa. Hata wakato wana okoka. Wadana ya likuambia. Kwa mimi mta kuambia tu sikiesu. Hata hosu jia wakato wale hati mimi mta wakoa. Unakoa we ni yesu. Wewe si yesu. Kama yesu aja wakoa wachana nao. And I've seen people who have lost their destinies because of such useless discussions. Your purpose must be so clear. So clear. 
Wapendwa si ni kweli. Ama sio sio tu wadada hata nyinyi. Naona ninyi ndio mnacheka zaidi mnadhani hata napika wadada. Ninyi pia. Your purpose must be very clear. Hey. I know this guy is almost telling me 10 minutes. The next thing about which we are trying to answer about your identities, your personal brand. Your personal brand. Jesus reached a point he asked his disciples, what do people say that I am? But then, do you always think about something about your personal brand as a Christian? Can you be a reference point when somebody is to talk about the issues of holiness, the issues of commitments, the issues of purity? Can you be a, a reference like Joseph? Today we talk about Joseph. That man, that man died long ago. But we are still using Joseph as a, a reference. We are still using Daniel as a reference today. Because Daniel set a brand for himself. Personal brand. Who do I want to be known? How do I want to be known? What legacy am I creating as I live on earth? What is the effect of my actions on the current and subsequent generation? Friends, it is good to be very clear about your legacy. None of you, I didn't leave any one of you in this, in this campus. Two or fours. Kuna muta niona kwa hii campus. Kwa mimi ni toka hapa 206 Samugwa. You know most of you may, perhaps you mko primary school. Why I've been invited here is because there's somebody who knows me. Na nijua kwamba at least nili nilikuwa kwa uongozi wa CU na nili nililinda uoko. Kuna wengine ambao kulinda uoko kwa wajawa wa wajaribu. Na kuna wengine wamelinda wukovu na ukora ukora pia wajaliko. Ndiyo mana huyu daktari ya kwa barazema huyu, a -a. huyu ni mzuri lakini. A -a. You must create a brand for yourself as a Christian. What do you stand for? If in the marketplace. If you go to the bank I used to work. And you ask them, somebody called Thomas, the next thing they will ask you, yeah, we are poor pastor. I say, me, me as a pastor. And I was reading for them the devotions for the whole bank. I say, me, me as a pastor. I say, Thomas. 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 Some things with this man we had to force to Inona leo ni mpata kujana wanakuja kwa wanaanza na kuomba. Haiku kwanga hivyo. Watu likuwa na, wanaenda wana book chairs. Wanangoja alafu praise and worship team wakuja wa se, inaiswa, setting what? Setting something. Then they sing. Tukasema hakuna kitu kama hivyo. Lazima tuanza na mahumbi. And I remember the first AGM watu walipinga hiyo kitu. Wakasema ah, itaonekana wengine wanaomba kuliko. Nikasema bus. Iyo maro pia tulikata. Tukasema lazima intercession ni kue. Na I'm so glad when I see you guys now. And I, I was so much blessed with that session. And I was also much blessed with the praise and worship. I think you guys, you, are, you have taken this thing to the next level. That is the only thing. Yeah, you are, God is helping you to take this. And that is what we want. God is helping you to take it to the next level to higher levels. So you must be very mindful about what brand. When we talk about Simon, what comes in the minds of people? This man is known by generations in this campus. Ukisema tu Josiah ni, kama kuna mtu alisoma at aukoke ama ajaukoka. Na ajui Josiah ni hakusoma hapa. 
Because this man is known. He created a brand. One, a brand in prayer. And a brand in holiness. Yani, ungezikia Josiah na kuisha, unaenda kwa bush, unarepent kwanza. Nasema, oh God, oh God. Kama kuna dhambi nimefanya, niyosame. Because God used him to shape people. We are not ashamed to call him a father. We are not ashamed to call him a father. He fathered us here. He created a brand of holding the, la- the hands of people. Can you create a brand about your Christian life? Mtu alina alina siku moja alinalauma akaniambia wewe umefanya kwa hii bank na watu ambao umepea kazi hakuna mtu wa kutoka kwenu nikasema that is I think that is the best brand I wanted to create I didn't want to be known as somebody who is so selfish hakuna mtu wa kwetu mimi nilialia kwa hiyo bank and I, I was so deliberate about that You can create a brand as a Christian in the market. When they see you, do they first of all see a mjaluo, ama mukikuyu, ama mukaleje? I wish they first of all see a Christian. Before they come and ask you, na wewe unatoka upande gani? Lakini kuna wengine tabia yako ikichomoka hivi, wanajua huyu ni huyu anatoka Nyanza. Watu wangu niko na nyinyi leo. Unajua <laughs> there are some foolish things we do. Wa Kristo. Sijuzi kulikuwa na ajali ya ndege. Na the CDF died. Ukisikia mtu anasema ameuawa. You can guess huyo mtu ametoka upande gani? <laughs> Because that is how you are cultured to think. Pole. Pole watu wangu, pole. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, can people see a, a Christian in you first? Kwa maneno yako, waone mkristo kwanza. Ndiyo waulize na ndugu we, unatoko padekani ya Kenya. Is it quite obvious? Yani tabia yako inaonyesha. Your way of life inaonyesha tu kwa siwasi huyu mtu ni Hapana I must show Christ Please I really pray those people who are hearing my voice that when you leave this campus and you go to the market people will first of all see you as a Christian I really pray that that what wa kiniona waone mkristo kwanza kabla waone kabla yangu waone mimi natoka wapi Waone mkristo kwanza. A person who can minister in any part of this world with love. Uyu pastor lipo kuwa anaongea, tulikuwa na zikofu waki. Na zikofu waki kanamia, pastor, unajua uyu? Hawezi kuwa pastor ya kabila fulani fulani. Kambia basi ye si pastor. Haenda kuwe kitu ingine, kuwe seramala. Kwa useremala, you don't need anything. Just tengeneza vitu zako watu watakuja fanya nini. Lakini kwa uchungaji lazimu pende the 42 tribes of Kenya. I thank God. I think where I live in Kakamega is, is not some, something to, to brag about, but I'm so happy about it. That in my house, I think people who have ever lived in my house they are almost from all tribes in Kenya. If less around 10 tribes have in my house I've had people from all the most of the tribes in Kenya they have lived in my house. And I find it a joy. I find a joy when they come and they we feel like we are brothers. I don't see their tribe, I see the Christ in them. Please, from today, start seeing Christ in people. Yani hata kwa ziyu, wakielektu mutu. Unazema hii likuwa kikabila. Kikabila gani? 
Yaani chairman wakisema tu chairman na usikie the first the second name. Sema tu ulijua. Si unajua election board ilikuwa na chairman na chairman alikuwa anatoka upande ile. Sasa alibleta mtu wa hapana. Can't you see Christ in that person first? Oya kitu naenda shida kwa masius. Tribal discussion. That we want to bring tribal balance. Utaweza exec kwa Kenya. Utaleta tribe zote za Kenya kwa hiyo exec. Aya. I'm almost finishing. I hope my time is please. You better tell me how many are remaining because I know personal branch. Number 3 the intrinsic Somebody has received the Holy Spirit. Okay. The number three is the intrinsic values. Intrinsic values. I want to say in every human being there is always a special ability, talent, gift, or, and potential from God. And each person who is in Christ carries the greatness of Christ inside him or her. I want you to know, because you are in Christ, you carry the greatest, the greatness of Christ inside you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are carrying the greatness of Christ inside you. The Bible says, Christ in us, the hope of glory. We talked about your value system. That is, what do I stand for? Thank you for bringing it. You know, uh, okay. Oh, 50 leisure. <laughs> Christ in us. Okay, so our values. What do I stand for? What do you spend your time for? What consumes much of your resources? What do you consider when torn between choices? If that thing is not Christ, then there is a problem. I like the man Moses. The Bible says Moses refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He rather chose to suffer with his people. He chose. In life there are choices. But as we make choices, let our choices be guided by Christ. As I almost come into conclusion, the book of Peter says like this. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. It says, but you are a chosen generation. That is, that is who we are. You are a chosen. Please, uh, can, you, can, you, can you repeat it? You are a chosen what? Oh, it is there. Let's read together. But. Uh-huh. 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 That is what we are. That is what we are. As I come to a conclusion. The challenge is the challenge of not knowing your identity is that you are likely to suffer what we call identity crisis. Identity crisis. Identity crisis is whereby you don't know what, you don't know yourself. So the environment tends to identify you. Kurekwa na mtu, naona siku hizi kwa vijana, mtu alishau kuvaa viatu, kuvaa socks, kulivaa viatu. Na akatembea. Vijana wakaona, ah, kumbe hii ndiyo mutindo. Sasa chikuzi vijana watembea biyatu bila socks. Na, 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 na longi mehang hivi. <laughs> kumbe it was somebody's mistake. <laughs> Alice House socks. Sasa wewe unasema ni mutindo mbia. Na tena longi imehang hivi juu. Mutu alisahau kuva socks. Na mwingine, wait. 
na mwingine alikuwa na stress akapata lo nyingine miraruka raruka 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 akavaa akatembea wakasema oh hii ndio mtindo sasa kila mwanamume atamea na longi imeraruka raruka kila mwanamke ah ah ilikuwa ni stress Hati this is the, the latest fashion how how does sasa mimi jamani mimi pastor ugalo nitemea na longi nyingine iko na shimo hivi iko na shimo hivi iko na shimo hivi na hapa imeraruka hivi ah ah huyo mtu alikuwa na nini stress na kwa sababu wewe una personal identity ukaona hii ukasema sasa hii ndio mtindo sio mtindo identity identity crisis imefanya wanaume siku hizi wana compete na wadada kushuka nywele identity crisis please munizikize na mimi hakuna mali mnanipeleka hiyo ninatawambia ka leo musikie mwanamume mzuri anataka kuja kucheza gitaa ameshuka nywele hiyo shida gani wachana identity crisis Uji, ujijui ujielewi maybe siku hizi imebadilika siku hizi tulikuwa kwa exec but hiyo ilikuwa yetu i'm not saying ifanyike ila exec ya kina Josaya aunge panda hapa kama a lady kuja kuongoza service na longi wakati huo maybe siku hizi may change yani wanaona tu ukiingia ndani hivi kitu exec amekuja amechukua microphone anaongoza hawakuambia usipige ile longi zingine zilikuwa funny funny unakuja kwa madhabahu longi imekukaza hata ni kama ulivana sabuni unakuja <laughs> Identity crisis. Please, when you are laughing, you are consuming my time. Identity. Dada yangu, identity crisis zafanya mwanamume hiyo mastadi umevaa kwa kwa masikio, ana compete na wewe anapia na vaa mastadi kwa sababu aliona umevaa mastadi. Ni identity crisis. Let's not cheat ourselves. There are things men we are doing because hatujielewi Somebody was talking about the the tattoos alikuwa amefanya kwa mkono Hey na hiyo kitu imemsumbua Kwa sababu aliona tu mtu akifanya akasema hata mimi ni nifanyie na hakujua ni contact point for demonic operations in his life The day aliweka hiyo tattoo kanza kushambuliwa na mapepo Please don't just run after everything Always know you are just unique the way God made you Bwana asifiwe Now I want to make a prayer with somebody My time is gone You are here This issue of identifying with Christ I've, 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 I've had to cut it short. The, the young man told me one thing. Akanambia pastor after I got initiated into gay practice nowadays my feelings are just for boys. Yeah. yeah. He feels like he's a girl but he's a boy. And he feels like he wants just a relationship with other boys. And those things they can disturb somebody. A young girl told me, "Pastor, my friend initiated me into pornography. So now there's even when I sit in class, wherever a male teacher comes, I can't concentrate. Those things come into my mind and my academic life has degraded i'm now in form 3 i don't know how my life is going to be it it may be very easy to laugh but i know there could be one person it's not it may be not those things but you are saying 
I need to identify my life with Jesus Christ. I call it the it is finished moment of Jesus. Tete less time in Hebrew. When Jesus said it is finished and he gave up his spirit. That word meant three things. One, the sentence is fully served. Jesus fully served our sentence. Number two, the debt is fully paid. It's not that the debt is cancelled. Jesus paid. Number three, the battle is fully won. I wish we come to that moment of the it is finished moment of Jesus. And you're saying, I want to identify myself first with the finished work of the cross. I've lived this life on earth. Hakuna mazuri ni meona. Ni mejaribu lakini hakuna mazuri na yana tokelezea katika maisha yangu. Nimejaribu kuwa mtakatifu lakini utakatifu wangu haujanisaidia. I need Jesus to come and help me. Ombi langu bwana wangu peke yangu sitaweza wacha tu wepo wako bwana uena sema ombi langu ombi langu bwana wangu peke yangu sitaweza Uwepo wako bwana bwana Ombila ngo ombila Baba peke yangu sitaweza Uwepo wako bwana Sema ombilangu ombila o bwana peke peke yangu mimi sitaweza o bwana now i want you to bow down your head ombilangu ombilangu bwana wangu Heke yangu Uwepo Wana Uwepo wako I'm looking for this one man I'm looking for this one girl You are saying pastor Today is my day Uwepo wako you're saying, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. I'm tired. If you are there, you can come. You can come and you can just get the courage and stand up. I want to make a very powerful prayer for you. Somebody, if you are there, you're saying, Pastor, I'm the one. I'm the one. I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. Ombilangu, bwana wangu, peke yangu. If you are there, lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. Kamu minua mikono smama. Naona naona mikono imenuliwa lakini please come if you have you have lifted your hand stand 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 karaba gande. Randa bagazaya reka pozele kapayande geda gazaka to belega bayado come come come. Oh rata la bazekete gala bagadea bazoko telede reka payande rekede bazoko toleba yanda gabaga. Say ya katala bagodese yentelele bagadosi kaparaya ho sanda baba yanda baba baba bayande rekatakados rakatakados hatalagabea hey santa lagabai yanta labaga hey santa labayade Umilangu bwana wangu peke yangu sitaweza 
uwepo wako kama unataka nikombe uokovu kuja if you are standing you want to be born again just come just come in front just come in front i want to pray for you ombi langu bwana wangu peke yangu sitaweza peke yangu haleluya holy ghost Holy Ghost Hallelujah Holy Ghost Sadaga baga daga baya Randa baga daga baya ne O makata ka daga daga ya ka daga zika ta ka daga baga daga ya de Halaga ba Thank you for coming thank you for coming Randa baga 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 He 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 zalaga da baya da ba da ba 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 Ho ho baya de baya de baya de baya baya Hey, God is helping you. Just stand here. Just stand here. Ombi langu, bwana wangu. Hey, peke yangu, sitaweza. Hallelujah. Jesus, have your place in this place. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Spirit of God. Even at the back there, Holy Ghost, move and break every yoke. Hallelujah. Move there. Move and break every yoke. Kalabagada. Rabagada bagadaya randerere zakata lagabaya de rande bagadaya yantala baya reke you are saying you are there you are saying pastor pray for me there is something holding my life there is something holding my life the things you have talked about there is something holding my life pastor pray for me i want the yoke to be broken you better come you better come you better come You are saying I'm tired of this situation. I want God to break every yoke. Raka bayande. Hey, sanda bagaya. Yanda bagade. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God. Thank you Jesus. My my brother Josiah come we pray for this this lady here. God is helping you. God is the helper of men. God is the helper of men. I want you to know God is the helper of men. God is your helper. Oh my God, God is your helper. Don't even fear. You don't you don't have to worry. That thing is ending now. That thing is ending now. Right now. And you when we pray for you you don't have to fall down those are you just believe my god my god you are saying pastor there is something in my life i want god to do it now please let's pray for this girl here she want a touch of god of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus it is done by the blood of Jesus Christ the blood of Jesus over your life the blood of Jesus over your life the blood of Jesus over your life it is done it is done it is done we lay our crowns and war 
As I finish, you are there, you are saying, Pastor, there is something in my life. It is hindering my walk with Jesus Christ. I'm trusting God in this meeting, it should be broken. If you are there, you can stand up. I pray for you from where you are. You're saying, There is something in my life, it is hindering my walk with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you are there, you can stand up. I pray for you where you are. Thank you for standing. Those who are standing, thank you for standing. You're saying, Pastor, this thing is hindering my walk with Jesus Christ. I need God to help me right now. Oh, my God. Thank you, wonderful people. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand where you are. Me, I, I don't, let me tell you one thing about me. I don't believe in that when you fall down is when God has helped you. No. When you have faith, that is when God has helped you. You can fall down and God has not helped you. But you can have faith and God helps you. So lift up your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I stretch my hand, I declare an end to every flow that has been taking place in their lives, every evil attacks in their lives, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare an end to every influence of the enemy. I declare an end, my Father, to this thing that has been attacking their spiritual lives. I declare the power of God to move in their lives wherever they are. Behind there, my Father, I send your word. Let your word move like power. Let your word move like power. In the mighty name of Jesus, right now, I release the fire of your word into their lives. Let it be done. Sit down. Everybody lift up your hand where you are seated. Father, I speak a blessing in the lives of these great men and women. Some of them are sitting their exams. I pray they are blessed. Some of them are going for attachments. They are blessed. Some of them are going for teaching practice. They are blessed. Some of them are trusting you for doors even before they finish their school. I declare those doors are coming their way. Father, in this team of, that is sitting before me, there will never be any lack. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I bless them. I place them in your hands. Show them your glory. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. And I want us to appreciate our speaker. <laughs> Let's appreciate the Lord. Yeah, it's been, it has been a nice sermon, and we thank the Lord. Yeah, just being identified in the Lord and walking in the walk. That pleases God in every position, everywhere that you might find yourself in. So, praise Jesus. Yeah, and now I'm tempted to ask you that if you see me, what do you see? Oh, wow. Somebody see me. I don't know what you've said, but I've just heard of mamas. Um, um, again, I'm Karina Amos, yeah, from the School of Education, taking English and Literature. And um, in the union now, I serve as the Atsua chairperson and also as the Arzek member. Praise Jesus. Yeah, and as we know that uh, we, we were having our Atsua giving today, and now it's time. Praise Jesus. Yeah, it's Atsua. Ah, somebody's not speaking out. It's Atsua. Yeah, uh, and now we want to act now, act now to, for us to shape our future. Yeah, and uh, as we have heard uh, uh, more about Hatua, Hatua is an in 
initiative uh, run by Focus uh, Kenya aimed at uh, uh, building uh, centers in uh, several regions. And here we are in North Rift region, we have Nairobi region, we have Nyanza, we have Mombasa, and uh, there are many. And uh, we are raising funds for us to build some uh, centers uh, that can uh, contain several activities, uh, like uh, we can attend our retreats there, we can have our prayer caches, we can uh, have uh, trainings like leaders, leaders training, that consists of co-opted leaders, ministry leaders uh, that can attend uh, their training there. Also, ITIM leaders, because we are focused and it's us to raise funds. The money comes from us and now we own it. It will be ours. Praise Jesus. And it will be a, a, it's a, it will be a panacea for you to get a chance. Uh, if, we, if there are some people who have come earlier who are not... Uh, uh, may, uh, maybe not students, I, I think we, if, if, even if you come later on, you will have a chance to get a position to own that place. Praise Jesus. Yeah, uh, I am the focus, you are the focus, and it's us to build uh, this center for easy. Even if it's, uh, it will not find you, maybe somebody in the future will come and test the joy that you produced. Praise Jesus. Yeah, what a joy when you come back some days and see that it's set and it's built up and you will be will stand and say, I did something in that point. Praise God. And uh, now uh, it will is uh, several things. Like I can say um, events. We have now the mini Ezra, the mini commission. We have NLMS. If we have built a center, it can be we can it can it can give us easy time to even host the Ezra commissions. Like now, we will be having uh, commission 2024 coming December. It will be easy if we could be having uh, at least a center, maybe uh, where we can go, we can have uh, a place where we can sleep easily without paying anything, and facilitations uh, could be easily without paying a huge amounts of money. Praise Jesus. Yeah, and now it's our opportunity to exercise your gift of giving. Praise God. Yeah, I know that it's been, uh, many people have been coming here telling you more about giving, uh, about Ezra. Uh, yeah, and today we want to give to Ezra that amount that you have. It might be five shillings, ten shillings, uh, any amount that you have. So long as you give it genuine, you give it genuinely. You can give out, and I will ask publicity to help me project this co uh, the contact. It's zero seven twelve twenty seven zero seven twelve twenty seven eighty five zero two Justin Kamau. Yeah, and uh, you can give any amount and um, you will be of blessing to us. You can give 10 bob, 20 bob, 50 bob, 100, even 10,000 if you have, you can give unto the Lord. Praise God. Yeah, can you confirm if your neighbor, Meguza Simuyake, it's time. We want to exercise on giving. Praise God. I'm here to Jirani to now shape the future. Imagine mutu a shape future. Kuna mtu ameka na sema unajua mimi na wait ile time na and imeanza ku earn 10000 time nimeanza kupokea some huge amount of money ndo nitaanza kutoa it's time now hiyo little amount that you have is what you can give because if you can't give the little amounts you have today even if you will get the huge amount i promise you will still be stingy praise god i'm sorry to say that but it's the fact praise god yeah, so let's, let's, let's give, let's give unto the Lord. Give genuinely the amount that you have. If it's five bob, so long as it's so genuine, give it out. Yeah, and uh, we have uh, some sweets, sweet sweets. Praise God. I know you know sweet sweets, and we have some sweet sweets. And uh, I believe after the service, uh, during our conclusions, uh, teams. Um, if you see a member of our tour, and uh, at this point, I will hudge 
my committee to stand up. If you are serving in a tour committee, please stand up. Oh. Yeah, at the farthest end, we have Justin Jogu. Yeah, Justin Jogi is our treasurer. And uh, we have uh, Michael. Oh, we have Michael. Michael, Michael. Okay, we have Michael. Yeah, and <laughs> he's our coordinator. We have a member, um, um, Joseph Kinyanjui. And one of us, our secretary is not here. Is Marcy Kosgei. She's not around. Yeah, and um, I don't know whether she's around. So I just guess she's not around because I've not seen her standing. Yeah, and me here, Karina Amos, the chair, chairperson. Yeah, so if you will see them, those who have st stood up, if you see them coming in your e teams, uh, asking you to buy some sweets, just 10 bob. Sweet pia unataka kusema acha tu ni chukwe nitalipa badai. 10 bob too. Like, mtu anataka kusema I'll pay later. Yeah, just pay there, there, and uh, you'll be of blessing. Yeah. And also I want to remind us of uh, um, giving, the major giving for their tour that will be on September. Praise God. Yeah, that's uh, the, uh, the people who pledged for the, for any amount you pledged for, just uh, prepare. You can give even more than that because we have good enough time that will help me help you to raise uh, lots and lots of money. And today are tour champions. I know there are those people who registered to be a tour champions. Just be faithful to the Lord and whatever thing that you are going to engage yourself in doing, um, uh, you will be of blessing. Praise Jesus. Yeah, we, have, we are not cut off to give that uh, hundred that each and every person was supposed to give. You can start sending it right now. Praise God. Yeah, imagine if we are 700 of a, a thousand kilometers to 100 yaki. Then when coming September, we'll be having a huge amount of money. Praise Jesus. Yeah, so let's be giving for their tour. And um, I just, you can continue giving even ukifika kwa nyumba yako, you can still send, you can still save the number, Justin Kamau, yeah, and the contacts is there projected, na utakuwa wa baraka, yeah. Receive greetings from our STEM, Elizabeth, yeah, he has sent, uh, receive greetings from our STEM, Elizabeth. Yeah, she has sent uh, greetings to Day called me in the morning and he said she said, I'm sorry, oh my God. She said <laughs> uh, she said that you are such a blessing to her and she will really miss you. I'm a Sema Jaenda forever. She will come back and say hi. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Praise God. God is good. And all the time, yeah, we've come to the end of our service. Yeah, and I wish to thank all of us for being a part of this fellowship this semester. You know, there are those of us when you are the exam, and they will be traveling. We wish you journey masses as you travel home. Yeah. For those who are still around, you better to an exam this week. Let us continue to uphold integrity and read for the coming examinations. Yeah. Uh, also, as a Christian union, we want to thank the Berakas for the thing that for for blessing us even as a union. We want to take this moment to just thank you for being a part of this uh, fellowship and what you did in Elders Weekend. We appreciate and we will miss you so much. Cindy, yeah, we will miss you so much. Also, always remember Russ can be visiting the way our speaker, Mesema, when you uki chunga your testimony, we will be, you'll be welcomed by the next leadership team that will be here. Yeah, so he can be upstanding even as we share the words of grace. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.